Hi everybody, this is Steve from Submerged Travels, and today we're going to be talking about the Ziegle Scope Mono Dive Mask. Uh, so, Ziegle re released this mask along with the Scope Duel um, a little earlier this year, and it's the first time that Ziegle's done a mask um, before. So, the Sco Scope Mono uh, is a single lens mask, uh, frameless mask technology, and it also uses this... Uh, kind of ski goggle type strap on the back that's coated in ribbons of silicone for grip. Um, it's, for me, it's a really nice mask. It's, it's got a really wide bridge nose, which uh, is nice. Most of them will kind of taper to a point, which on some people can kind of squeeze the top of the nose. Um, the single lens gives you a nice wide open field of view. Um, despite it being a black silicone mask, it's very open feeling. Um, strap is extra stretchy, so uh, you can have it pretty tight and still get it on without too much difficulty. Um, they use a kind of Allen screw combination um, for attaching the mask strap, kind of like the Ziegle Recon fins straps. Um, so you can actually swap for different color combinations on the strap, so this part would be a different color, they have a variety of colors as well as the writing in Ziegle uh, would be a different color, I believe. Um, but you can also swap it to the silicone strap that comes standard on the dual scope mask. Um, for me, this mask feels a little narrow, it still fits well, and I've done a number of dives on it. Um, but it feels a little narrower, narrower than my uh, my oceanic shadow mask that I typically wear. Um, I did notice that if I neglected to shave uh, my upper lip before diving, that I would generally have more leakage throughout the dive uh, than I would if I had a nice clean shave that morning. Uh, some other cool things about the mask. Uh, whole thing that you get. So you get everything here. You get the mask, you get the Ziegle um, mask box. The mask does come with a, uh, a snorkel keeper. I've taken it off. I'm not a big fan of this style of snorkel keeper. Um, but it does come standard with a snorkel keeper, which I guess is nice. Um, I just question how secure it's going to hold on to that snorkel with uh, the elastic that it's using. Like, they didn't, despite it, you know, taking all the stops out on the strap, they didn't put a stripe of silicone inside this section of the, the snorkel keeper um, to help keep the snorkel in place and secure it better. So if you do end up picking up one of these masks, I strongly suggest taking this off, which can be a hassle because you do have to remove that Allen screw and remove the strap itself and put it back on, um, but not too difficult. Um, with the box here, they, they put a lot of effort into this box. So, it's not your standard, it's fitted for the mask, so it's got the little nose pocket in there so the mask can go in, and same with the lid. You can see the, the profile there on the lid to, to give it a nice spacious part on the top of the nose pocket. Um, but it has this kind of lip on one side and a lack of lip on the other side. And on the box, they have these vent holes. So their intention is if you put the mask in there when it's wet, you put it, this, the mask in in the top on this way so it can air out and allow the mask to dry. And if you're storing it for a long period of time and it's already dry, then when you put the mask in, you flip it around and that lid covers those vent holes and keeps the mask nice and sealed inside the box. So it's a, a clever design if you're a fan of using boxes for your mask uh, while you're storing them then uh, it is definitely pretty pretty handy to have and a nice uh, addition with the mask. Um, so if you get a chance I suggest going to your local Ziegle shop and checking out some of these masks if they have them. Um, I really enjoy using this one. Um, I have also used the the, uh, the Scope Dual Mask, um, which fits very well, uh, but it is a larger la mask, like 
drastically larger than the mono. Um, it has interchangeable lenses, so you can do prescription lenses and color kits for the, uh, the retainers for the lenses around the eyes. Um, it comes standard with a silicone strap, which could be swapped with this strap uh, if you chose to. Um, and it comes with the same mask box as well. Uh, so I'll put up the prices for each of those uh, at the end of this video. Um, but check them out. They're great masks if you get a chance to try them on. Um, and Seagull's a great brand. They, they hold up really well. They've done great with BCDs and regulators. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see if they release any more masks in the near future.